What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It's your man Theo Butler. And man, first of all, before we continue, y'all already know. If you know me, grow me. You know what I'm saying? Caring and sharing. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and everything like that. Y'all see the title of the video? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> So, what's today, Tuesday? So clearly I upset some people about a post that I put on Facebook about one Kevin Durant on Saturday. Then, Sunday morning, I got asked a question about Kevin Durant. Actually, I got my, I got asked, you know, to give my opinions about, you know, where I, where I felt Kevin Durant stood in his in history when it comes to greatness and i responded i get youtube requests i'm gonna do them and then and i knew the ish storm notice i said ish storm i knew the ish storm was gonna start monday and i started my day off monday doing what i normally do this video is like two parts to it it's way too many y'all that think y'all know me that don't know what I do. Y'all don't know what my work day is. You don't. My work day is my work day. Your work day is your work day. My work day is my work day. And my work day allows me to speak on stuff from an unbiased standpoint. Unless it's Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> if it's Ben Roethlisberger, I ain't got issues with Ben. But aside from that, I'm able to maintain a healthy distance from whatever the subject matter is that I'm talking about. You might not like what I say. That's fine. It's going to be real hard to argue with you. Case in point. What I said was going to happen on Monday. The excuses started for one. And the same people that gave the excuses for that one. Well, they didn't get them same excuses for the other person. I.e. They had a whole bunch of excuses for Kevin Durant. Them same people had no excuses for LeBron James. So let me go ahead and say it for the people in the back of the church. I don't give a damn if I hurt your feelings about what I said about Kevin Durant. I really, really don't. We all consider Kevin Durant to be great. And what do we expect great players to do? Great things. Get your team to the championship where we can see you face off against another great player. You know what we ain't talking about? It's people. Right now, the same people that are making excuses for Skip Bayless saying, you know what? It's LeBron James' fault the Lakers didn't make it to the NBA Finals. Injuries be damned. Them same folks that's talking about James Harden had an injury. Kyrie Irving had an injury. They not giving them excuses to LeBron James and the Lakers. We know AD was hurt. We know LeBron James hurt. Is anybody saying anything about that? Nope. Damn sure not the KD fans. Keep it 100. Keep that equal energy. Me, I'm going to sit back just like this. Like I said, y'all see me wearing red? Michael Jordan is my guy. Was the Lakers supposed to make it to the finals? Hell yeah. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that. I don't give a damn about no injury. <laughs> AD, I don't give a damn about no injury. You shouldn't have got injured. LeBron. I don't give a damn about that. You LeBron. Get the team to the finals. I don't want to hear that about you ain't got no help. Stop asking for all that damn money. See how I do that? But see, y'all that love KD, y'all going to clap when I say that. Bron James fans going to be upset with me. Like I give two dams. But that's what that is. That is the expectation level of all the great ones. We don't care if it's Michael Jordan if it's Kobe Bryant, if it's LeBron James, if it's Kevin Durant, if you're great, we don't want to hear the excuses. And as somebody who's not hearing no excuses from any one of them, any one of them, I don't care if I hurt your feelings about what I said about Kevin Durant. You know what you showed me last night? And I want to thank Cat Williams for this. You need some haters on your team. It's not that I hate Kevin Durant. It's not that I'm a Kevin Durant hater. Because God knows I've been called a, a LeBron James hater. I'm not that. I love great basketball. And Kevin Durant put on one hell of a performance on Saturday night. He did. But see, you wouldn't know how I feel about stuff because you don't watch my damn videos. 
I inboxed y'all last night and I could drop y'all names, but I'm going to be more respectful than that. One of y'all actually even used the word, man, I, you know I love you. Be careful with words that you really don't mean. One of y'all even said, no disrespect, but I ain't got to watch your videos. Bro, you've been knowing me since how long? We put a what? We put what type of group together? What was my role in that group? Right. Okay, to the other dude. You know me. You've been knowing me, what, longer than my youngest has been living? See, what it was is you lost touch with who I was. And you came back into my life under the false assumption that I was that dude that you knew before. I'm not. The difference between you and me is that I've watched you grow as a man. I watched the both of you grow as men. I watched the both of you grow as parents. I watched you grow as businessmen. One of you who works for the United Postal Service. One of you has two sons and you also have a health food business. I know that about y'all, but what do you know about me? Not enough for you to make the in the ill-informed opinions about me that you made on Saturday night and on Monday night. But as Cat Williams said, everybody needs some haters on their team. Hey, if you ain't got good, nothing good to say about me, what'd that make you? And in this video, I think we can both, I think we can say that I've said some good things about Kevin Durant. I've said some good things about LeBron James in my previous videos. I said some disparaging things about Michael Jordan in some of my previous videos as well. But if you mad about what I said about Kevin Durant not getting the Brooklyn Nets to the NBA Finals, I'm here to tell you, I don't give a damn. This is my best Stephen A. Smith impression. I don't care. I said what I said and I meant what I meant. I'm not taking it back. We expect great things from great players. Excuses be damned. Get your team to the NBA Finals. At least I tempered my expectations because I wasn't expecting them to win. But did I expect you to get there? You damn right. And if Giannis Antetokounmpo couldn't get the Milwaukee Bucks to the NBA Finals, past the Brooklyn Nets, with just Kevin Durant, you need to know I'm saying the exact same damn thing about Giannis Antetokounmpo. I don't want to hear it. That's my time. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Keep it 100. If not, don't keep it. Peace.